it's finally time after uh, after several weeks of waiting to finally get it through. Right as we are at the time this video goes live, two days out from the Vengeance Saga, we finally have my God Game special where we're going to be going over two other animatics today. I'm literally talking with my hands and you can't see it because unfortunately this model does not have the capabilities to do so, unfortunately. But, so, today is going to be another double feature like when I did Ruthlessness way back when, where, I, how ironic it's actually the same artist this time. Once again, just like the Ruthlessness double feature from a few months ago, uh, it's going to be Eddie Flama and Neil Illustrator. I don't know why my brain, brain stopped. Also, I, I'm, I'm too hyped for it. Hello, hi, welcome to those of you who are back for the epic reactions. Um... Pardon the rebrand, I spent a little bit of money on Booth, and hello, I have rebranded, this is me now. <laughs> the dragon has not been fully retired, but it's it's a bit easier to use this. You know, a bit easier to set up, a bit easier to use. Anyway, as usual, let's get our YouTube things out of the way, you know. Uh, go check out the original animatics, go listen to the songs again, support Annie Flama and Neil Illustrator, support Jorge, Especially because, again, we have a new saga coming in two days because this man's work ethic is mind-boggling. And, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sure it's going to hurt. It's probably gonna hurt. <laughs> That's gonna be an, an interesting month of videos, I can say that for sure. Oh, boy. Let's not waste any time on them because I, I, let's just get through this because I'm gonna be here a while if we're talking about both of these for mostly for the anime. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're gonna be here for a bit. Mm. So, who's ready to have some fun for the next, I don't know, however long this is gonna take? Oh god, every time I. Th there's a reason why I now do some fancy editing with this when I change over just because it's so much easier. <laughs> okay. So, the moment we're starting off today, as you can tell, we're starting off with Annie Flama's uh, animatic for God Game. So, let's see what she did. Hey, she. I don't really know anyone's pronouns. I, I just default to they just to be safe. <laughs> A very nude Aphrodite. <laughs> it's Aphrodite. What are we going to expect? It can't be that bad. Father, God, King, rarely do I ask for favors. Now I'm knocking on your door with hopes to save a friendship with one who's a prisoner far from home. Okay, so I, it's, it's been a while. I don't. Wait, have we ever? I don't think we've seen Annie do Athena in a while, have we? Like, I mean, I, I know Annie did uh, Athena for some of the live stream animatics, but for, like, herself and her own interpretations of the designs? I'm not really sure. But, I mean, hey, I, I do like this consistent detail we see where, like, Athena's eyes are always shaded over by her helmet. It's always nice. Also, I don't recognize that pendant. Hmm. I'm sure someone will point it out in the comments. Um, Odysseus! Divine intervention, is that what you seek to untie apprehension? Oh, I like this Zeus, holy shit. Okay, so the first time I've seen any Flama do Zeus was actually for the Thunder Saga animatics, aka the stuff that's like as close to canon as we can get to what Jorge's trying to do. So it's fun to see um, Annie's interpretation based on the way that she uh, handles these things. So I like that, you got like the bolt. The bullhorns are sneaky as hell. Hold on. The bullhorns are sneaky as hell. <laughs> God, I hate knowing the context for the bullhorns. To, to give that context, um, in one of the myths where Zeus, you know, uh, laid with many a woman, um, as you know, this was the one that led to the Minotaur. He has bullhorns because he turned himself into a bull. Oh, Annie, that's a sneaky one. That's a sneaky one to go with instead of, like, a bird thing. Even a, even the tail! Even the tail is a bull tail! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, making him- giving him a bull as a motif is actually really smart, though. That's definitely one- Normally you get, like, bird motifs with Zeus, so it's interesting to see a different go in for him. Considering his attitude in this sound, though, it's actually really appropriate to make him a bull. Huh. That were placed on that Greek, you are playing with thunder. For a man full of shame, but if he's worth the risk of going under, why not make it a game? Oh, his horns even have the little laurels on them. Cool. It's, it's very sketchy and not hard line, so it's hard. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Convince each of them that he ought to be released, and I'll release him. Who's them? 
Oh, you know. Apollo! Hephaestus! Aphrodite! <laughs> yeah, we can tell where, where the Aphrodite design is going to be. Also, I like kind of going for that black imposing design on it. Uh, for like all of them so far with a, like uh, something for their imagery. Really good, real good. Ares! Hera! Ooh, the Peacock Tales is really good. Oh, me. You know, thing to notice in the song too, knowing the full context of the song, note how he says, or me. He doesn't say, convince them and me, it's or me. Zeus, the son of a bitch, was never intended to let Athena win at all. <laughs> oh, no. God, he's such an asshole. What do you say? Okay, I like having this whole thing. <laughs> look, at the, look at them in the back here. Uh, I like just... And there's something funny about Hera being this bundle of robes before we get to her segment. <laughs> and look at her face. It's like, even here, you can just tell. She's like, God damn it, Zeus. Great. Very well. Bring it. Apollo! You all know I'm a fan of catchy songs. So with so many sirens gone, I think Goat is in the wrong. They were trying to do him worse. All he did was reimburse them. Now they'll tread with caution first to live another day and sing another verse. If that's true, release him. This one was, okay, that one was actually pretty simple. I almost expected a bit more, but honestly, I mean, if this is the Apollo segment, it's not too bad. But I mean, hey, he got. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is definitely uh, a look for Apollo to have, you know, a uh, very foppish, very pretty boy, even has the hair tied up and everything. <laughs> I'm sure there's got to be some details that I'm missing, like the liar, if I had to guess, that's actually, that's got to be the liar that uh, Hermes gave him to kind of get away with some stuff. Though, wasn't that me with the turtle shell? I don't remember, because like the, the bows very clearly are like bow horns. I don't know, I swear, in the, at least in one version of the myth where of Hermes giving Apollo the Liar was a turtle shell, but I don't remember. Ooh, release him. And here we... Okay, again, I, lo I love the sound. Just the level transition, so fun. Now, how did Annie do the workshop? Avestus. Trust mm. is not given his force. Why should I give in my support? He sacrificed his own... Ooh, Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, just immediately like this. First off, having the big hammer be like the beat, but also keeping in mind the whole thing of Hephaestus being a cripple, giving him a prosthetic leg uh, to show that too. Also him forging a blade as he talks too. This is a good look, making him a bit huskier, a bit thicker, because I mean, you know, he's a forge master. Come on. Have you seen some of those guys? Those guys get muscular. At least the guys who do it traditionally. Oh boy. Cohort. Did you forget they failed to listen? He was betrayed and then imprisoned. But if you make the right decision, he can still build a future with those who miss him. Fine, release him. And again, using the hammer as the beat, that's good shit. Uh, it, it is funny how it's like, kind of simple for some of them, but yeah. You know. <laughs> Fine, release him. Ah, Aphrodite. Oh boy, here we go. God damn it. God damn it. Of course. Of course. He was busy fighting. like busy spiding. Strategically placed burb. Cyclops, let him feel the pain that his mother felt and wrought. Wait. Oh, that's a good way to represent the quick thought kicking in. So, okay, so if I had to catch it, the reference here for Aphrodite's quote-unquote level is definitely based on the birth of Venus painting, but with the seashell and everything, because, like, God, Aphrodite's origin is so dumb. <laughs> for those who don't know the myth, um, Aphrodite was born among the gods. She's not one of the original Olympians who were born to uh, Kronos and Gaia. Uh, wait, it wasn't Gaia who was their mother, was it? No, I'm, I'm stupid, I forgot. I think it no, because, yeah, no, that was Guy and Uranus who birthed the Titans, and then it was Kronos, and... I'm forgetting my, I'm forgetting my core aspects of the mess. But, like, basically, um, Aphrodite was born after Kronos cut off Uranus's nutsack, and, uh, she was born out of the sea foam after it fell into the ocean. 
Look, I don't know who came up with that story, and I'm pretty sure there's, like, a couple other origins for Aphrodite as a goddess because of things like cultural uh, shift and translation. Like, I'm pretty goddamn sure, as I remember from an OSP video on it, she was actually a Spartan goddess first. And then it kind of shifted over over time because, you know, that's kind of how mythology works. You know, gods get either translated over from one region to another and all this other stuff. It, it's very... You know, it's it's a it's a wild thing. Like, there's a lot of strange overlaps, say, between the Egyptian pantheon and the Greek pantheons, and then the the Romans were just taking gods from everybody. Like, if you go into that bit of history, the, the Romans just took gods from everybody. Oh God, mythology is funny, especially once you realize most of mythology is basically just fan fiction. I didn't make the rules; it's just what it is. <laughs> it's such an out of pocket statement. <laughs> anyway. Consider this. Really, Athena? These old tricks. Ooh. Shift into color palette, too. Okay, so Jorge, Jorge did confirm that uh, Ares has his own version of Quick Thought. I forget what he called it particularly, because he had a like a short video where he talked about where basically like every god has some kind of ability and he equates it to like video game stuff. And I think it would call it like, what, Quick Rage or something? I don't know, where it's like, Ares' version is where Athena's quick thought lets you gather your thoughts, calm yourself, and uh, think things through. Ares is more like getting an adrenaline boost, basically, like going into bullet time in a game and just going to rage mode at the same instant. Which is why, you know, uh, Athena at first acts a little like, oh, what's going on? Ares! Not having him with his helmet on at first is good. What kind of sick coward holds back his power while his friends get devoured? He didn't even fight Scylla, didn't even try to kill her. Hides inside a wooden horse to get the job done. Never handles things the- Oh, and the state of like the scar over an eye. I like that. Him turning into- Does- I think Ares has an association with snakes. Does he? I forget. Run, but that can weak like his son! Your now. Here stands, my friend, Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What was going on with the theater there? Annie, what did you do? Now. Stands, my oh, literally bristling and even like, oh, it's like feathers. Oh, she's like going out of her human form a little bit, kind of taking on more. Oh, oh, I like that. Ooh, Annie, that's good. <laughs> that face after I was like, what the fuck did I do? Oh, even the shadows go. Oh, yeah, the shading go getting less harsh on her face. Ooh, I like. And you want more bloodshed? Then set him free to get back to his home dad. He'll make everybody flee. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I see why they're scared. Holy shit, Athena. <laughs> Aphrodite just like, oh my god. And Ares is like, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, <sighs> really <so. laughs> All right. Let's get the hair up. Hey, baby. Oh, no wonder she was all in robes at first. That's a hell of a reveal. <laughs> so many tales, me one good reason why you should be fair. He's got the mind of a genius, I heard him. He's pretty skilled to play. You can do better than that. He's kind of funny. <laughs> and then they keep covering her up as it goes. Okay, this. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a perfect way to show how awkward that is. Of a genius, I heard him. He's pretty skilled with words. You can do better than that. He's kind of funny. Eh. Never once has he cheated on his wife. Release him. <laughs> I get that it's just so fun that, that that's the key to getting through the hair. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, he didn't cheat on his wife, not even once. Like, Alright. But uh, that's funny too to have the servants like pitting her robes back on and everything. Oh, <laughs> uh. Alright, what about the big climax? I played your game and won. Release him. You dare to defy me, to make me feel shame. 
no one beats me. No one wins my game. Thunder, bring her through the ring. Oh, shit, that transition, though. Hold up, let's frame. Okay, let's frame by frame that. So, yeah, we go from the eagle, and then that, and then to the bull. <laughs> oh, Annie. Oh, Annie, you're so good. Show her I'm the judgment call, the one who makes the kingdom fall. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's a Gorgon face. Wait. Oh, she pulled out the Gorgon head. Oh, she pulled out Medusa's head. Hold on. Oh, wait, I didn't yes, realize what did. I didn't realize what was going on there. Oh, she pulled out Medusa's head. Yeah, she would have that after Perseus, huh? Huh. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize little the start and stop of Athena's little sound cue oh oh wait 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 hold up okay so athena in like a monster form of course, then we have, you know, Warrior of the Mind, and then it go carries on also into... Right, because we'll be... Someone pointed out in the comments, and I only just now remember that Warrior of the Mind and we'll be fine and have the same freaking melody. <sighs> God, Jorge is so smart when it comes to music, and I am absolutely jealous. God, I'm so jealous. I wish I had half that talent for music. But then again, I guess I put all my points into writing. <laughs> I guess my talent points got put into writing. <laughs> Oh, right, right, right. Okay, the shield. Right. Okay, okay, okay. I remembered. So it's not just Medusa's head, though. It's also her shield, the Aegis, because it was actually imprinted with the image of Medusa's, head, Medusa's face. Right. God, the mythological references here are so smart. I cannot wait to see what Neil goes, wait, like what Neil digs into, by contrast. No, oh, this animation, though. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Going for that, dude, that was so cool! Just the harsh black and white as she pushes through. And, oh lord, just losing all her armor and everything. Let him go! Damn! Ooh, I like in these extra little bits. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the censor. <laughs> God, okay, okay. Okay, let, let's talk about that a bit before we get to the illustrators and absolutely gush my, and lose my mind again for another 20 minutes or whatever. Oh man, I'm glad I recognized some of the deep cuts for like stuff that Annie that uh Annie went for in terms of the animation and everything. For the references too, I'm so excited to see what Neil does, because I was uh Hinted that Neil also cuts pretty deep in terms of references, so let, let we'll see. Also, just immediately the Omega symbol. Hmm. But, oh no. I gotta absolutely praise that last segment, though. Just going to the harsh black and white contrast. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> it's not quite like uh, the, the animatic that we watched, and I think even from the canon animatic, where you have that more open, like, almost begging from Athena to Zeus. Oof. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Neil, it's your turn. Let's see what you did. Father, God, King. Immediately. Immediately. Again, I just uh, immediately. Oh my God, this Athena is so good. Wait, wait, wait. Let's dial. Can we dial back back a bit to get that wide shot of her? Like, first off, I love the freaking huge hair. That's so good. Oh, oh, hey, more owl imagery on the pin. Okay, let's dial this back a bit. 
Yeah, look at her. I love the absolutely massive head of hair she has looking like it's meant to be the plumage of the helmet. And then, uh, that's a sword. Oh, it's a, oh, wait, it's a spear. And even the spear looks like an owl. Ooh, cutting deep with the owl imagery for Athena. I love it. I love it. Father, God, King, rarely do I ask for favors. Now I'm knocking on Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that? No. Oh, it's a statue of Athena and whatnot. Oh, that's cool. For some reason, my brain was like, a Hercules Disney movie? No, no, it's Athena. And you can, like, it's even the same owl metal. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen with my physical hand, but like it, it's it's the owl metal. Oh, I'm like on your door with hopes to save a friendship with one who's a prisoner far from home. Yeah, no, this is like a peak Athena design. Bless you, Neil Illustrator. Thank you for gifting us with hot warrior woman Athena. I I thank you so much. <laughs> Look, I'm weak. Okay, I am weak. I am on my knees. Thank you. <laughs> I am, mm, I'm, I'm weak to warrior women, okay? I have a thing for hot lady nights. <laughs> oh, Odysseus. Divine intervention. Is that what you seek? This, uh, this Zeus continues to be too good of a design, but also, God, he's such a skis. I love how Neil makes him feel like such a goddamn creep, but also, God, he should not be allowed to be that hot. Ugh. Ah, uh, it's not fair, mm, and I'm glad I'm straight. To untie apprehensions that were placed on that Greek. Eh, why does he even now have to be using the clothes that'll make him look like women? Eh, eh, Zeus, no, please stop, Zeus, please stop. You are playing with thunder for a man full of shame, but if he's worth the risk of going... It's literally a throne of clout! No, not a throne, a couch! God damn it, Zeus! We're, not, we're barely a bit. Look at this thing! What the fuck? <laughs> I love how much of a creep Neil Zeus is. Jesus. The risk of going under. Why not make it a game? Convince each of them that he ought to be released, and I'll release him. Who's that? All right, time for a design, design peek, just like with Andy Flamma. Let's go. Apollo. Hey. Yep. Yep. Oh, uh, the little light. Uh, yeah, little sun halo makes sense. God of the sun. Yep. Perfect. Oh. Hephaestus. Ooh. I like big dude Hephaestus. Uh, oh. Okay. First off, I like the design. I always, I'm always a fan of Hephaestus being like a stockier, or bulkier in some way. Also. Interesting that his head is cracked like a pot because yeah no because that was the myth in the myth after he after freaking Harry yeeted his ass off of a off of Olympus he cracked his head open when he fell down so having it be cracked open like that's actually really good even the, yeah it's cracked open like it's a like it's a pot too ooh that's a good that's a good cut that's a good cut of, out of a reference Aphrodite. Yeah, no, mm -mm, we're not, no, we're moving on, we're not talking. Yep, 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 Aphrodite is, um, about what you expect from her. <laughs> yep, that's an Aphrodite design. Airy. Oh, yes! Me, God, by contrast, like, that's Aphrodite. Look at this man! Oh, oh, yes, and Bray, oh, I always prefer Ares designs, like, much more of the savage warrior, because I do think, I do remember... That Athena and Ares are meant to be those two sides of war. Athena is like the the idea of nobility and honor and warfare. Meanwhile, Ares is the savagery and brutality of war. Having him look like this whole berserker with a skull helmet and the oh my god, he's even got a wolf pelt cloak. And he can't even wait, 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 hold on. I swear to God, was this inspired? Was okay. Let's dial this back a bit. What weapons does he have? Yeah, one sword's broken. Then he has that too. Oh, and then the skull motifs. Oh, this man looks like he'd be, a, be in fucking 40k. I love it. Ares. Hera. Ah, approve of the hair design. Good hair design. God, Neil's designs are always so good. Oh, me. What do you say? Great. Very well. Uh, All right. Bring it. 
Oh, okay. Having his harp also be able to turn into a bow. Holy shit. I, I mean, I mean, he is Artemis's twin brother. Twin twin brother, more or less. More or less. Also, turning it into a bit of a duel, too. Ooh, I like. Ooh, Neil, that's so good. I like that. That's so good. Them down, they'll tread with caution first to live another day and sing another verse. If that's true, release him. Ooh, Hephaestus is forge is so good. Yeah, no, like the whole the whole literally cracked head. It's like he's missing part of his head too. I mean, he's a god. Oh wait, I'm just okay. I'm just noticing it now with a closer look. Literally, his entire design looks like stone. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, that's real. Okay, that's also really damn good. Yeah, given this idea of like stony features. Mm. Sorry, ate dinner not that long ago. Some stuff is still coming up. But given him that somewhat inhuman feature of having him be like made out of stone, or would it be marble in this case? Would he actually is he actually supposed to look like he's made of marble instead? Huh. Probably. That 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 fits though. That fits though. Augustus. Justice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> having this man roll up in a giant fucking golem. Oh, that's the Hephaestus I got. That's the style of Hephaestus I love. Oh, that's so good. Not given his forge. Why should I give him my support? He sacrificed his own cohort. Did you forget they failed to listen? He was betrayed and then imprisoned. Ooh. But if you make the right decision, he can still build a future with those who miss him. Fine, release him. <laughs> he looks so mad that his mech got wrecked. Oh, let's go back to that. Look, look at this man. He's like, ah, uh, fine. Release him. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, having, wait. Okay, so I, okay, so I haven't seen the, like, canon stuff. I really need to watch it. So having him give her the Aegis in, like, first as far of a gauntlet. So I, okay, I imagine that, like, that's from the canon thing where, like, Hephaestus hands or something. Look at look at his face. Well, let's go back and go back a bit for the closer shot. Look at her face. She's so immediately. Athena is so done. Like, oh boy, you. Okay, let's get this over with. You're a little high and mighty. Okay, that's actually kind of freaky. That's actually kind of freaky having the mirror image do that. Okay. Claims to love his mother, but let her die of a broken heart. He was busy fighting. Cyclops, let him feel the pain that his mother felt and wrought. Wait! Ooh. Please, we can Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold up. I gotta, we gotta look at the right, writer thing. Hold on. Yo! <laughs> that's a cool way to represent it, though. Having it, like... That, that's just straight-up domain expansion. That's just straight-up domain expansion countering each other. <laughs> Having it turn in like that with it with the clock, the owl imagery, well, Aphrodite is now frozen. Ooh. Ooh, ooh that's good. Please reconsider this. Really, Athena? These old tricks. Ares! Yo, Ares physically breaking into the quick thought though. Yo! Okay, okay, that's actually kind of cool, though. Aphrodite using her power to f to fix his sword. Kind of sick, coward, holds back his power while his friends get devoured. He didn't even fight so didn't even try to kill her. Hides inside a wooden horse to get the job done. Never handles things up front, but that it can wake like his son. Hold your turn now, he said, my friend. And tell your lover that a broken heart can mend. Yo, wait, wait, okay, hold up, hold up. Let's get a better look at his face first. Get it better. Oh, okay, peak Aries. Yo, peak Aries going for the dreadlocks too. Oh, that's peak. Okay. First off, I, I had to watch, watch, dude, just the fight scene itself. Neil, 
absolute props. That was peak as fuck. <laughs> Just full on, dude. If that was more frames, that would be good. Okay, let's well, now back to I want to just I want to talk about the Aries design a bit more because God, that's peak. Oh, it, it's it's peak Aries design, giving him like the warrior dreads and everything. Ah, peak, peak. Really awesome. Oh, that okay. That's actually nice. It, like making it more like friendly between them. Like, look look at that smile. It's like, all right, sis, you got me. <laughs> oh, that's actually cute. That's I like that. I like portraying them as actually kind of wholesome siblings when they're not, you know. Smacking the shit out of each other. Hey, baby. Ah, so many heroes. So many tales. Give me one good reason why you should be fair. Okay, this is... <laughs> Crap, Neil. Why are you so good at this? What the hell? The camera work is on point, too, this entire time. Holy shit. He's got the mind of a genius, try harder. He's pretty skilled with words. You can do better than that. He's kind of funny, eh. Yeah. Never once has he cheated on his wife. Release him. <laughs> I'll never not find it funny. I admit, I, I do kind of prefer the other versions where it's more like Athena having to kind of try and match um, Hera's groove and then just being awkward because she's Athena. But, you know, yeah, you know, more fights aren't too bad. I will not begrudge Neil their awesome fight scene. I will not begrudge them that. That that was cool. That was still cool. Though, I will say, I Annie did get a better laugh out of me with the he's kind of funny being just awkward as hell. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Zeus. We're back. I played your game and won. Release him. You dare to defy me. To make me feel shame. No one beats me. No one wins my game. Thunder, bring her. Oh shit. The ring her. Show her I'm the judgment call. The one who makes the kingdom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Kneel, kneel, kneel. What is this? We go from freaking Cloud Eagle Zeus to fucking Primordial Thunderbeam? <laughs> Holy shit! Also, like, just the whole thing of the space breaking. You can even see Ares' face back there where he was like, like, oh shit! Oh, well, let's dial that back a bit. See if we can't get that. Yeah, look, like, look, look at Ares there. He's like, oh shit, Athena! Bro, this man, did, why, this man made a fucking spirit bomb out of thunder. Yo, Athena. Is she dead? Yo. <laughs> oh my god, look at their faces. They're all so horrified and poor Hera. Oh shit. Wait, was that Telemachus? Wait, that was Telemachus. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Neo, you can't show that for like one frame. You can't one frame me. You can't one frame me on that. Yeah, no, that's, uh, yeah, there he is. What the dog do? Oh, wait, no, I don't think that's Telemachus. That's, no, that's Odysseus. No, it's Odysseus because look at how small Argo is. Yeah, no, that's Odysseus, not Telemachus. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, no, oh, I know what they're doing here. Oh, and then what she's, yeah, and then from the end of Love in Paradise, oh. Oh, look at that, though, like, giving her, like, the scar from the lightning strike, ooh. And Telemachus, uh, the boy, uh, the boy. Wait, 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 I, ooh. I turned yellow, too. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, Ares, you can tell he was just calling her name. Yo! Neo! 
Leo, you can't just hit me with that. Holy crap. Yo, hitting us with that. Okay, yo, hitting us with that goddamn, like, actual fucking straight out of DBZ shit. Like, also, look at... Okay, okay, hold on. Like, turning it into, like, an actual action scene like this. Also, like, Athena's face here. Look at her revving up. Ah, uh, damn, and they're just, like, <laughs> that adds, actually, this adds actually a whole lot to it, though. Uh, just in a desperate move, just, what it, just, I don't, just, you know, just hug her father and she begs, just let him go. Let him go. Even the way Zeus himself seems to soften up, it's like, in this, I'm not, okay, I'm not sure what Neil's intended to do with the scene, but even, like, it looks like Zeus in the moment is realizing, like, what he's done in his moment of rage at his own daughter. Like, that that expression changed. Like, dial it back a bit. Like, yeah. Like, even the way he softens and actually puts his hand over his shoulder. Like, that. Oh. oh. Even having him carrying her after that. Like, yeah, no, that's, uh... <laughs> that, that's a Zeus who's maybe realizing that he might have gone a bit too far with this. <laughs> Holy crap. God, okay, D Neil and Annie are both, were both so good with the, oh my god, okay. It's two very different uh, takes on the whole thing. Obviously, Neil went for a more action-oriented thing. Neil's animatics have obviously always been a bit more adjacent to the idea of what's going on in the canon. If you see how Thunderbrainer is on the island and not on the ship, like what the songs actually say they got to, like they got out to sea. And then, obviously, a lot of liberties taken with what goes down in a... Uh, in freaking ruthlessness but this this was something else too like holy shit going for the more action thing where every segment is you know like a boss fight having some action it does depart a little bit again how i said i kind of you know prefer the other versions where they kind of stick to like uh athena trying to match Hera's vibe and exactly kind of you know failing that but hey you know that's why we get different interpretations is why it's always fun <laughs> oh my god these were all so good Oh, these are both so good. Absolutely thank you, Andy Plama and Neil Illustrator, for making these. Absolutely awesome animatics to go with the songs. And I... <laughs> oh, man. Either the next time I see you guys here, it's going to be for freaking... Uh, the whatever the first songs of the Vengeance Saga are going to be. And or the next freaking Joe Cat thing. So we'll figure that one out. <laughs> Oh, and tell that if you hey, if you like if you like my my commentary and what I had to say, feel feel, uh, feel free to leave a like, support the channel, maybe even subscribe. And hey, I stream every Saturday, Sunday, and Monday too. Check me out when I do those. Hey, <laughs> I just do a lot of games. So till the next.